Hi everyone, I'm here today with Alan. In this video, we are going to be answering a behavioral data analytics question. So here's the question. Alan, could you please share a little bit more about why did you choose analytics as a career or what made you want to be a data analytics role? Yeah, no, that's a really good question. I think for me, it's, it starts with this, almost like this concept of wanting to figure stuff out and more importantly, figure stuff out myself as well. So a lot of the times, especially early on in my career, I would want to solve a problem at work. How are things not going? Why is this process breaking, for example? Uh, how do I get to the bottom of it as well too? There are often a lot of times where I would have to source out data from reporting teams, go through those hoops myself. One, I didn't have access to that. And then two, these things would actually take time. There would be intake forms and it would actually slow down and I was getting very frustrated with that process as well too. So I think for me, a data analyst is very much around how do I actually pull that data myself, tell meaningful stories. And then for me, additionally, how do I drive value for the role that I'm in, the team that I'm contributing for and the company that I'm currently working for on top of that as well. So I think for me, being that data analyst gives me the best of both worlds. One, I have that freedom to paint that canvas of, this is the data that I actually want, this is how I'm going to solve it, and this is how I can interpret it. I think there's another layer of, is this even a problem worth solving for? This is something I'm very curious about, how things work. How can I actually understand how companies and business models run? Understanding the data as well too. So finding a role where I'm able to do those like transformations, uh, tell really meaningful stories, and then more importantly, how do I communicate this to people like yourselves, to senior leaders and directors as well, saying that I've isolated the problem, I figured it out, this is what we can actually do on top of that as well. I think a lot of those skill sets that I've learned over my time, over the time, teaching like myself SQL, for example, navigating dashboards and building in Google Sheets versus Tableau versus Google Studio, I think those are concepts that actually evolved over time. But I think for me, it's very been much around how can I take nothing and then turn it into something really, really, really cool to look at? How can I work with teams in my expertise to say, hey, why don't you think about it this way from a data, uh, a data lens? I think you hear the saying a lot, making data-driven decisions or data-informed as well. It's one thing to say, I think my gut is telling me that, but to prove that is something that really, really excites me. And then more importantly, I get to work with a lot of cool teams throughout my career, marketing, sales, operations, for example, on how do we actually bring this to life in terms of like success and outcomes? How do we actually get the next big restaurant at Uber Eats? Or how do I get the next coolest merchant on Shopify? Are things that I have solved over my career too that I wouldn't have looked at and understood as well had I not gone through the data? Amazing. I really like how you are enjoying the process of leveraging leveraging data to solve a business or operational problem. Maybe this is a follow-up question for you because at our company, we do offer a range of variety of different roles. How do you imagine yourself, let's say in the three to five years? Do you want it to be more technical per se, or do you, are, are you imagining yourself to be more like business front and center or leading a team? Can you tell me a little bit more about uh, what motivates you and how you imagine your career progression? Yeah, I mean, the way I've kind of found success in roles, not, success as in like ones that I've enjoyed the most and thrived in are, it's almost like that internal consultant type of thing where you are tasked with a situation, not necessarily a problem. Your job would be to take that back and kind of use frameworks like the PACE model, for example, on what is the problem I'm trying to solve for? How am I going to actually apply analytical uh, rigor on top of that? And then how am I going to communicate and execute on, on top of that too? Being that internal consultant allows me to kind of, one, have a lot of ownership with the problem that I'm having, but then see things through to the end. I think for me, I'd love to kick off a project, see an, a recommendation get implemented, and then see the most like the fruits of your labor come. Are you getting success? Are your metrics moving up in a way that you want to get? Are these expected behaviors? How can you actually storytell and show progression as they come? I think having roles where there is a lot of like technical chops with that like communication aspect are things that I actually do enjoy and things that I actually aim for with specific roles. Amazing. So from what I see, you wanted to see like kind of the impact of your either data or decision driven, like from end to end. That's kind yeah. of what you enjoy the most. And then just having that like ability to one control the narrative 
uh, mm-hmm. to the best of my ability, and then work cross-functionally with teams to kind of execute said project. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ellen, for your answer. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Next, let's do a quick reflection and review of what the candidate just shared. This is a behavioral question usually come up either in the initial round of HR screening or during your hiring manager interview who want to know a little bit more about yourself. Why did you choose analytics as a career? I think the candidate really answered this question well because he shared his personal reflection of what he enjoyed on the job. At the same time, it shows his growth mindset where he can learn from different type of analytical experience. And as an interviewer, if a candidate shared his personal journey as well as personal reflection of what he really enjoyed throughout the data analytics process, I'm more than willing to hire this person because I know he will be able to do his job, but also he will be able to go above and beyond of what is required because he intrinsically enjoy doing this. Something that you may want to consider when you get behavioral question like this is think about always tie back to specific data analytics examples in your career. For instance, you might want to share Throughout my time at XYZ company, I realized that I really like doing XYZ because I did this project of data analytics or did this project data cleaning. I really learned a lot from this experience, right? So not only talk about in general why you're choosing data analytics as a career, but also tie back to specific example of what or when it made you realize that you love this career.